Today on Houston Life, we're celebrating National Peanut Butter Lovers Month with healthy nut butter recipes perfect for this holiday season. Plus, it is HL Obsessions Holiday Edition. From personalized stationery to jewelry and desserts, we'll share our favorite local products. Then actress Busy Phillips is chatting about the kickoff to this year's 20th annual National Dog Show. Find out where you can check out this doggone good time. And speaking of that, Joe Sam is on the search for his forever friend, but he needs your help. You will get to vote on which pup he'll take home as we celebrate National Pet Adoption Month. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to Houston Life. It's already November 22nd. Can you believe it? No, I cannot. I'm Courtney Savala. Hi, Courtney. Hi, everybody. I'm Derek Shore. And uh, we look a little <laughs> different today. Why are you standing up behind I know. the desk? It is not. It's, it's no cause for alarm as far as, you know, my stool is still here. I just can't sit on it. Y'all, I... The stool um, she sits on is the, still here. Yeah, yeah. It's just not being used. Um, I... Um, threw out my back Saturday morning and I never knew what that was like and now I do and literally this is day one of me being upright oh. um, and slowly moving about and I just could not get on that stool so um, this the sitting chair that we use uh, here behind the desk. Listen, I've thrown my back out a number of times, and this has happened to members of my family, dear friends of mine, people who like sneeze in the shower and then can't get out of the bathroom for like 10 hours until their spouse comes home. It, so I'm glad your family was with you and yes. that you are upright today. It is um, super painful. I'm finally going to the doctor today at five o'clock, so I'm really excited about that. But, um, you know, it took me about 15, I started, I started to get back spasms, muscle spasms, and it literally took the breath out of me. I was crying. I couldn't help my, my body was trembling. Um, and once I got on the ground, Orlando helped me get on the ground. And I thought, well, I'm not sure this if I'm it. ever going to get up again. So if I'm going to need to go to the bathroom, I mean, I, I literally, I couldn't even, I just thought this is it, me in the living room. Oscar's like <laughs> licking my ear. His tongue is like in my ear because I'm on the ground and I can't really shoo him away. Oscar's like, this is great. This is amazing. Um, but I will say it's, it's just, you know, the people that throw out their back, you're in a group that really nobody else can really understand. And, and I never knew what this was like and uh, the worst pain there is quite honestly. I am so sorry. Welcome to the club, though. I, I've thrown out my back many times, and it's not the same for weeks. So yeah. hopefully your recovery is faster than that. You are saying a specialist, so. I hope so, for sure. So now I'm just going to stand. I do have my box here because my, my good man, my good friend Raymond, our floor director, did say, you know, you might need the box to put your foot up. My, my right side is, is worse than the left. But So I'm kind of resting my right foot there on the box. We don't have any strenuous physical activities planned for today's show, so you're going to be fine. Good. You're going to be fine. Okay. Well, I missed you over the weekend. I didn't realize all the excitement that was happening here. I know. Where, where, where did you jet off to? Well, so Brandon's former boss, uh, Karen, at the Manila Collection, she left the Manila a couple years ago, went to the New York City Ballet, and then yeah, COVID nice. hit, and it changed everything. I know, Sarah Jessica Parker's on the board. Who? No, anyway, sorry. so could she's, you imagine walking into a board meeting and you're <laughs> yeah, like and late SAP's or right you there. know, yeah, Ooh. yeah. But so now, Karen, because of COVID, she left New York City. She relocated. She now works for the Colorado Ballet. Oh, fabulous! And so we went to Denver uh, for the weekend. There's Karen next to Brandon, and then our friend Carrie, who's still at the Manil. It was lovely weather. You know, I'm big fans of Denver. A lot of Houstonians. You know, it's so interesting it's, traveling to Colorado. I know so many people did it. So it was great to have a nice little dinner. But certainly missed you. You know, airport travel though. Come Coming home last night, our flight was so delayed and we didn't get in until like one in the morning. I feel like the holiday rush has already begun. So here's the thing, if you're traveling this week for the holidays, foods you can take on the plane. So like that you don't bring a turkey. Well, <laughs> well, can I or, smoke a whole turkey? And or bring can it? you? Can you? Well, uh, you're about to find out. So a couple years ago, th this is a list of things you can take on a plane. You can actually a take, full pie. You don't have to check it. Well, you could check a pie if you well, wanted to. Well, that's going to end up as a slushy. But you could take <laughs> you could take it through security and very carefully transport it. So turkeys and turduckins, yeah, bro, you can take it on a plane. 
What? Yeah, I know. I know. Hard to Excuse believe. Excuse me and my 45-pound <laughs> turkey. It's, <laughs> it's just the two of us. No, that seat is taken. So we don't know if this is uh, frozen. So here's the thing. Turkeys and turduckins allowed for both carry-ons and checked bags, but must be completely frozen when it goes through security. Oh, well, hey, listen, I hope you're bringing that turkey tomorrow or or Wednesday. I mean, it, there could be a, a lot of smells if it's warm. The planes are going to smell really nice. So Courtney told me a story once. Her dad came to visit her, brought her a box of wine, but yes. tried to take it like through security. So just remember, I mean, you can take wine on the plane. You cannot consume it. That is against federal law right now. Right. You can't take your own well, alcohol on the plane can, and drink it. I'm guessing you can bring a bottle of wine. If it's under three ounces. <laughs> So you could, the mini bottle. Who's, who's bringing that? I'm just saying, if okay. it's been a minute since you've flown, yeah. check the box of wine. We love a, a good box Listen. of wine. Check it. Don't take it through security. Yeah, my dad just recently brought me the box of wine, which is fabulous. You know why? Because it's like three bottles or something craziness. But And look at you now. You can barely walk. <laughs> I mean, it all worked out. <laughs> It's actually really good because if Rolando wants to do a bourbon or something, I just go and get the spigot and pour myself a little, oh, you know, spigot the wine. Yeah. Good. Well, listen, we're all kinds of good help today. So recently, you've been to a Target recently. I went as I well. Have. They've all been renovated. I can't find a thing. Can't find a Here's thing. the thing, though. So last year, you know, all these stores were closed because of COVID. Right. Target did it. Walmart did it. Macy's did it. The big, like, department stores, the drug stores, all of that. So Target has just announced that they are permanently closing on Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Just on Thanksgiving, Okay, bro. I didn't know Chill. where you were going. What? Don't call me bro. Well, you call me girl all the time. I figure it's fair. So they are permanently leaving their stores closed on Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving. So their families can spend Thank time you. Yes. with their families for the holiday. I think holiday. it's good. And th so what they're saying is we're not going back to pre-COVID hours. Here's the thing, though. So Macy's and Walmart, they're also staying closed. Last year when they were closed, sales were up 8%. So we have to wonder, I mean, they know that sales are booming. All yes. the analysts are saying 2021 is also going to be a massive, massive shopping year. So maybe closing the doors is actually a better strategy for higher sales. I do think so. And remember all those small businesses, too, as you head out on Black for sure. Friday. For sure. And Small Business Saturday, which is coming up as well. I know. I know. But I'm glad. We need to just have a regular holiday where people aren't rushing to get out the door on yes. Thanksgiving. Give everybody a break. And strangle each other to find, you know, a cheap TV. That you don't need. That you don't need. No, maybe you do that need. That was me you strangled that time at Best Buy, remember? <laughs> I know you had that mask on. I knew it was you. <laughs> Could you tell by the height? What I was mean, it? The shoes? I was like, who is that child? Oh, that's That's yes, Courtney. That's I could Courtney. tell by her hair. The extension. Well, this, year, this year, <laughs> you will I, see. Listen, I, this is so hard for me to move in slow motion. It's so hard, and I can't. So, no, I'm not. I can't beat anybody. It's a good thing you have a co-host who helped you get out of your car today. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, my love. All right, still to come. You're welcome, bro. Your face. <laughs> You're calling me bro. All right, girl. Okay. Listen, okay. still to come, Bluebell has added a new seasonal flavor. You are going to love this. Find out which holiday classic taste is coming to your freezer. You know me well. Y'all are going to love it, too. But first, why don't we check in with Mr. Joe Sam, who is looking for, so exciting, a brand new furry family member this afternoon. Joe, how's it going out there? So it's going pretty well, Courtney and Derek. We've already chose a few, so we want you guys to help out and choose which one I should be taking home for National Adoption Month. We're going to be introducing you to these beautiful pups when we come back here at Bark Animal Shelter when Houston Life returns. need a drum roll for this next story because I love eggnog so much. I totally thought of you. Really? Yes, I was just so excited when I saw this. I was like, Derek is going to love this. Well, so as a kid, you know, I was obsessed with eggnog. Yes. And then as an adult, when I found out you could buy an alcoholic version, it was like Christmas every day. <laughs> <laughs> if you buy enough. So here's the thing. Bluebell, we all love Bluebell here oh, in yes, Texas. We do. They have their brand new eggnog flavored ice cream. It's about time, if you ask me. ClickToHouston.com is the full article. And the flavor is described as a delicious eggnog flavored French ice cream with flecks of nutmeg and a whipped topping swirl. Run oh, to grab gosh. it because it is available only for a limited time in your local store. Okay, and also let us know if y'all find it somewhere, will you tag Houston Life and let us know where you found it? Because I think we should all just spread the word. Yeah, and Courtney will show up with her U-Haul. 
Well, for you. Thank you so I much. I do like the peppermint one, but the eggnog one, I know you're going to love. Peppermint also so good. Now let's bring in Lauren Kelly with our question of the day. Hey, Lauren. Okay. Well, eggnog, I, I you guys, can't do I it? No. cannot do it. I think of Cousin Eddie from the Yes. Oh. And it's but that's just, so good with the no, I just, Marty Moose mug. I love the mug. I just, I cannot. It's just not the flavor for me. I've too never thick. liked it. It's too thick. I feel like I, just, I don't even know you anymore, oh, But how can you say that? Because other family traditions will be matching over oh, the yeah. holiday. I know. I know. Hey, you two. Totally <laughs> accidentally. Totally right. fresh and rooty or whatever <laughs> that <laughs> is. You two are like a total oh, ice no. cream cone. Oh, no. <laughs> we are like an <laughs> ice cream. There's the shot. There's the shot. <laughs> <Quit moving. laughs> it's a dance party. Oh, okay. my Anyways, gosh. So we want to hear from you guys from Holiday Foods to maybe matching outfits to the latest fad. What is I something want the memo next time <laughs> for Sorry. the ice cream sweater. <laughs> what is something you think it's too much hype? And, of course, we've already got some great answers coming in. Julie is first, and she writes in, latest fad, large shakes or dessert drinks that have sticky stuff all over the outside of the cup Ooh. and like a, a week's worth of calories. That is so true. A I mean, they cup. are so good, but the sticky mm -mm. cup is just Deal no breaker. bueno for sure. Tommy writes in, I'm just going to say it, apple pie is boring. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, maybe, Tommy. Maybe a little eggnog ice cream on top of there. I'm going to call your... Tommy after the show. <laughs> All right. Rick says, pumpkin spice. I'm not even sure which spice. No, girl. stop clapping. You know who it is? It's me. You know what, Rick? <laughs> this is me. I am this pumpkin spice girl. <laughs> All right. Head over to the Houston Life Facebook page. Join our conversation. Of course, we will share more of your comments a little bit later on. Courtney, for sure, next time you'll get the memo. But you guys, traditional holiday matching gear in the fam? Oh, yes. We do the PJs. I just okay. picked them up. Okay. Yeah. I just got him delivered. Yeah. We used to buy fabric and sew our own matching <gasps> holiday PJs. You did not. But that's enough of my embarrassing story. <laughs> that's all the time we have. Lauren, well, thank you I so can't much. wait for you to make <laughs> ours for you in life. Okay. Start working on those. All right, Laura. We'll see you in a bit. All and right. thanks for all your comments. Well, speaking of the holidays, as we reflect on those we love, why not consider adding a furry family member to your home? That is right. As long as y'all are ready for it, Bark Animal Shelter is committed to placing pups in permanent homes, and Joe Sam is ready to open his door to a forever friend. Hi, Joe. We're, okay, how is the search going so far? So, Courtney, Derek, we narrowed it down to three of the pets, and we have them here just to introduce you to their personalities. And we're also talking about that because it's National <laughs> Adopt the Senior Pet Month, and we're going to start with this senior pet right here, Corey, here to tell us all about her personality. Give us a little bit about her. This is Luna. She's seven years old, which is perfect. All pets seven months and older this month are uh, $7 only. So that's a lowered adoption fee for these older pets. You know, she's uh, an owner turn-in, unfortunately. So sometimes, you know, somebody who can't handle having a pet in their home anymore, they'll come in and turn in. No judgments here. Right. But she's a senior dog, so, you know, she usually seniors have a more settled-in personality. They can be calmer. She, she has a lot of puppy. Happy. Yeah, she, she has a lot really of puppy happy. energy. And we want to get to the other pups that we have here, too. So we're just walking you through and telling you about their personalities. Really quickly, tell us about Snoopy here. Snoopy's, he's a little younger. He's about one year old. He is, uh, he came in around the end of October, so he's actually on our longest length of stay list. Dogs that are here for 10 days and longer, they're on our urgent pets page. So we try to really promote them, get them into a forever home. You see how sweet he oh, is. Oh, he is sweet. He's and a we, staff favorite. We also have another sweet one really quickly. I know they're all the way back there. They're Let me see if I can grab her. But we're going to really quickly tell us about our last dog that we're going to have. I'm going to hold Snoopy here for this you. This is <laughs> Sunrise. I'm Unfortunately, I, she's being she's a little all shy. The way in the back, you guys. I, she's been gravitating towards the sunlight this whole time. She's definitely one of our shyer, more skittish dogs. Uh, she's a little bigger. Uh, the other two dogs were more of our medium-sized dogs. She's closer to 50 pounds. I think she's Australian cattle mix, but. Uh, she's been in here only a sh short time, but we still try to promote all dogs, whether they've been here a while Absolutely. or a short period, to get out perfect, and put perfect. it home. So we are going to put some pictures up on our Facebook page so that our viewers can start voting. We had some on there a little earlier, but two of the dogs that we chose have actually already been adopted. So we had to get two more for you guys so that you can vote on which one 
I'll be taking home today. We're gonna go get our last dog all the way from the corner over there so we can show you more about the personality. But get on Facebook, start voting. We're gonna put those pictures up in just a bit. And we're gonna be taking one of these pups home floors for our for new forever friend. That's what we're gonna call them. So we're gonna send things back to you guys in the studio. There she goes as we learn a little bit more about the pups oh, here in Florida. Oh, Sunrise is so sweet. She just needs to warm up. Snoopy is adorable too. Joe, have you ever owned a dog before? This is going to be my very first time. So Congratulations. I'm be the first time ever dog dad. So really? <laughs> becoming a parent slowly but surely. I love it. Okay, we, I think you also dropped your Please mic. Maybe get that, ratings. but we'll see in just a little bit, okay? So nice. Why choose one when you can take all three? You could take all three. Yeah. Instant family. I love it. Okay, guys, when we come back, get your home ready for the holidays at Gallery Furniture. How to get your hands on the quality furniture you need during their Thanksgiving super sale. There is still time, plus our Houston Life Obsession. We have got gift ideas for men, women, and kids, plus desserts just in time for holiday gifting. And, of course, promo codes to help you save. Houston Life will be right back. bedroom set, sectional, or dining room table, there is a Houston staple that's a must-stop shop for all of your holiday hosting needs. Hey, the holidays are here, and Thanksgiving is this week. You know where you have to go to get ready for all those extra family members. Gallery furniture. Let's go inside. Well, gallery furniture is a staple in the Houston community, and it's also a one-stop shop for all of your holiday home decor. And here to tell us how to get the job done right with one take is the man, the legend himself, Mattress Mac. Thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. I've been a fan of Channel 2 for 40 years. As have we to you. Now, you've got a huge Thanksgiving super sale happening. Let's talk all about it. We do. And the reason we're having a Thanksgiving super sale when our competitors don't have any inventory is we have beautiful Made in America furniture all over the store. We specialize in Made in America furniture, and I think that Made in America is more important now than ever before, as we've seen back orders in every industry never stops. Let me tell you, Mac, my bedroom set is from here. I've had it for two years. It's my favorite piece in the entire house, and I absolutely love it. Made right here, and I got it the same day. That's the biggest portion about getting your stuff from Gallery Furniture. You're getting it the same day. Well, we have a great combination. Great customers and great team members here. Our team members work hard every night delivering that furniture up to midnight every night, so if you want furniture made in America and you want it today, Gallery Furniture is the only way. I'm a poet and I don't know. <laughs> well, if we're talking about Thanksgiving and redecorating your house a little bit for guests coming in, what room should they start with? The dining room, the dining room, the dining room, where all those family values are taught is right there at the dining room table. And so many memories are created. So uh, people tell me all the time about the memories they've created at their solid wood dining room table from Gallery Furniture that lasts 30 years. So start at the dining room where all those family memories are created. Well, you want to go check them out? Out. Absolutely. Let's go. So, Mac, we're looking at all the dining room sets. If you have any kind of idea of what you want, you're going to come with it ready because there's so many to choose we from. Have thousands <laughs> of them and more in the warehouse, more coming in from Indiana, Ohio, from Amish furniture makers every day. So, if you want made in America dining room furniture, we've got rectangular, we've got square, we've got round, whatever size you want. All, all the ideas are right here at Gallery Furniture. And let's talk about same day delivery as well. Same day delivery means you buy it today, you get it today, you don't have to wait 12 weeks on a back, 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 back order. Look, if you want beautiful Made in America furniture delivered today, Gallery Furniture is your place to buy and save and have that furniture in your home tonight. I'm going to invite you to our Thanksgiving meal. It was pick out which table you want to sit yeah, at. <laughs> got lots of them. <laughs> So, Mac, the hottest thing right now is the sectional sofa. Okay, uh, this is legit the one that I chose to come over to, and you just happened to walk us by, and there are so many here at Gallery Furniture. Sectional to sofas are all the rage. Bring the family over, bring the entire neighborhood over. People love seating. They love lots of seating to watch TV, watch their favorite show on Channel 2. So, we are sectional city at Gallery Furniture. Do you mind? Do you Let's mind? Let's sit down. <laughs> Try it out. It's, it's just great. Yes, it does. This makes me lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't think Matt could be lazy if he ever 
Barb tried to, but for more information, make sure to visit gallerysfurniture.com or just give them a call 713-694-5570. Now let's send it over to Derek and Courtney. They've got some fun stuff happening over there. Oh, we sure <laughs> do, Lauren. Just wait for this one. So Courtney and I, you know by now that we love shopping small. So our monthly series of HL Obsessions continues. And today we are featuring some pretty great local products, including jewelry for both men and women. And by the way, if you love these products as much as we do, we've got some really great discount codes for you today as well. And a reminder that these are simply products and businesses that we want to share with y'all. We aren't paid or compensated. We just love to spread the word about these small businesses, we right? Do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You guys have seen me wear multiple items by this business owner. This is Golden Thread, founded by Houstonian Jennifer Welker. She's a mom, also a former neonatal ICU nurse. She's also went to UT. She was a cheerleader for them. Jennifer personally designs each piece in her Houston studio with the intent for women to feel effortlessly chic from daily to the mundane and the carpool line to even date nights and seriously everywhere in between. Her desire is for each piece to be packed with heirloom quality. Golden Thread is packed with jewels that are one of a kind. You are taking a look at so many pieces that I own on this table already from the Astros inspired I wore so many of these things during playoffs. I have my Stroh's necklace. I've got a Courtney necklace. She loves everything with initials really highlighting maybe if you're a grandmother, your grandkids, whatever it is. But also what I love about her, Derek, is every holiday, even game day, she has pieces specific to what your life revolves around, whether that's high school games or anything like that. It is so cool. She just opened her brand new retail location. It's in the Memorial area. It's 9135 K freeway and she generously has an HL promo code you can use Houston life to receive 25% off awesome. site-wide and also in stores this code is going to expire December 31st you can get all of your shopping done golden thread shop.com is where you need to go there are so many great things all the bracelets are lovely as well that's a huge discount it's a huge and discount. it's been great to watch her business grow very nice all right Courtney do you want to come on over here oh you're okay in your box. I'm well, on my box and I know you're having trouble walking so you don't have to my Studio favorite. Wood grill folks Courtney loves this spot we all love it so you may have been it's in the Heights very very popular. So if you want rustic American vibe, if you want some beef, some fresh seafood, classic cocktails, their desserts though, that's what we're focusing on today. And this is perfect timing for Thanksgiving. So when you go to the restaurant, you can buy individual servings. You probably could for takeout as well. But here's the thing, you can do these whole desserts perfect to pre-order during the holiday season. So what you're looking at right now, this is the bourbon butter pecan right here. Y'all. Here's the thing though. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just come with the dessert. It comes with the bourbon. Yes, ma'am. It comes with the, the Bluebell ice cream. Amen. Say yes, ma'am to me, <laughs> bro. I did, bro. bro. <laughs> so what you can do is people are crazy this week, like running around preparing for Thanksgiving. Call Studio Wood. You have to place your order by 2 p.m. tomorrow and your desserts, your whole dessert. I mean, check out this chocolate fudgy cake right so here. Lovely. It's beautiful. And you know what? You can just say you made it. You don't even have to tell your guests that, that you bought it. <laughs> you can mention Houston Life. You get 10% off all Studio Wood Grill whole dessert orders. Again, that's for whole dessert orders placed by tomorrow at 2 p.m. And the studiwoodgrill.com is where you can place the order, or you can call them, 713-864-1100. Orders will be available for pickup until 5 p.m. on Wednesday. So plan ahead, put it in the fridge, and wow your guests. I love that, and it comes with Bullet bourbon as well. So you, this is one-stop shopping. Bullet is a, it's a fantastic bourbon if you haven't had it. So uh, check out these, these individual desserts, too. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Give Listen, you can't go wrong with HL Obsession, okay? <laughs> We've got two more coming. We're going to have a little bit later on in today's show. Well, coming up, Fix and Fog General Manager Blake Lupton is sharing some healthy nut butter recipes. There he is. You're going to want to add to your holiday spread as well. And we will get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4 o'clock, including a look at how the music service Spotify is changing things up. Houston Life will be back in just two minutes.
Welcome back to Houston Life. It's taken me that entire time to make my way over here and get on the couch. Courtney Derrick, back with you on this Monday. But you did it. You I did, did it. it. I'm out of breath. A little slow, but that's okay. You're going to be fine. <laughs> so why don't we get more of your responses to our question of the day. We asked, from holiday foods to the latest fad, what is something you think gets too much hype? All right, let's start with Lori. Buying presents for anyone but children. Adults can buy the things they want when they want them. Just be thankful for the family and friends you have. Enjoy a great meal and time together. Amen, Lori. That's so true. Yeah, good way to take a pause and really understand the season, right? Robin writes in, Black Friday, work in retail for a long time. The best buys are usually after Black Friday. Ooh, that's a good tip, Robin. And Lee writes in, charcuterie boards. Okay, Lee, you write Lee. in a lot, but and I'm usually, I love your comment. No, can't do it. I love a good security board. I like it because I like to graze. Because the boys call it a security board, they right? Yeah, yeah, but charcuterie boards, I mean, they're so beautiful, Lee. So pretty and they're yummy. So nice. And I could just, you know, keep going back for more. I think so, too. Brandon makes a nice charcuterie board, for sure. Love that. Don't worry, Lee. You don't have to have it. That's okay. Well, we wish you We're would. kidding. Just you're, kidding. You're always invited. I know. I do invited. love He's one of our... Uh, Regulars. Like, yes, regular comments yeah. as well. All right, let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank. <laughs> I know y'all love a good charcuterie. Listen, oh, my gosh. Us. If Lee doesn't want it, oh, yeah. I love some charcuterie. Yeah, well, who's going to pay eighteen ninety five for cheese and crackers? <laughs> you got to call, yeah. call it something. But you got to be fancy. Uh, yeah. You do. I'm not artistic at all. Cheap. Now I'm like, oh, a little cheese here, some nuts here. Yes. <laughs> Make it all That's fancy. I would have to say the, the thing I think gets a little overhyped for me. I know, you know, Santa, North Pole, snow at Christmas time. I don't need <gasps> snow. Oh. No, no, it, it's okay, but I'll go visit. Oh, no, th that's one of the reasons Seriously. I live in Houston, because you can have a Christmas where it's like 70 or 80 degrees. I'm okay with that. So yeah, I'm worse that's than just you. me. I'm a little over New Year's Eve. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. It's so drop the ball at midnight. It's like, I'm asleep by 1130. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't they call New Year's Eve? It's amateur hour or amateur night or something, right? Yeah. It's all the people that. But I guess we yeah, got a couple like, gracious over coming, here. Sorry. Whether I celebrate it and I'm up or not. <laughs> that's that's yeah. our world on a Monday. We hope we, yeah. uh, we didn't grinch. Bunch of curmudgeons yeah. over here. Yeah. I know. I, I'm like cheese. He ate snow and he wants to sleep. That's where we're at. <laughs> Frank, it's a nice start to the week, right? Sounds like a family dinner, doesn't I know, it? Right? Seriously. <laughs> Welcome to Thanksgiving at your house. <laughs> Who ate family. the charcuterie? Where did it go? Give me some cheese. Well, happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, temperatures are beautiful. Look at that sky. We had that front come through yesterday. You may have gotten a little shower or two. Temperatures now upper 60s and low 70s. It's going to be a beautiful evening. Look at this guy. Actually, look at this girl, Ella. Is that not a? I know. Look, look at that tongue. <laughs> she can't hold her liquor. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she had a problem. <laughs> My kind of girl. Adorable. She's adorable. 72, 71, 67 at 6, 62 at 7. It's going to be a beautiful evening. High pressure's in place. Notice this. That's our Thanksgiving. That, I'm afraid, is going to be here on Thursday. So I want to talk about holiday travel. This is Wednesday morning. So if you're headed out Wednesday, really all in all looks pretty good. There's a front that that front's trying to come through the Rockies and there may be a shower or two a little snow there, but I don't think it's going to be any problem. Even getting to Denver shouldn't be an issue. Wednesday evening, we're still in good shape. It is Thursday. If you're traveling, happen to not be where you should be. Uh, anywhere from Houston to Dallas, up towards St. Louis and Chicago. Showers continue right through the day, the afternoon. We're going to go close up and coming up at four, but you can see the rest of the country for Thursday looks really nice. And then Friday, it all clears out. There's a little issue up here in the Northeast, so all in all, well, the Thanksgiving travel doesn't look bad. It's just Thanksgiving Day itself for us here in Houston looks wet. So bundle up tonight. We'll talk more about the showers. We'll go close in, talk about how much rain we could get, and then a drier holiday weekend. So we've got a lot on our charcuterie board coming Shooting. up. We sure do. A lot of shopping time for that. Okay. <laughs> Frank, thank you. All right, look now at some of the stories that we're working on for our news at 4 o'clock. Thanksgiving, just a few days away, and if you're planning to travel, there are a few things you should know. We will look at the rising COVID numbers across the country and why officials, health officials, are concerned about a possible fifth surge, plus what they are hoping will prevent that surge. Plus, you may have noticed a change in your Spotify player, what the music streaming app has changed, and what it has to do with Adele and her new album. And we are taking you to church, sort of a look at what may be the world's smallest church. The story behind the mini house of worship today at four o'clock. Oh, I mean, can, I guess you stick your leg in and get it blessed or I mean, I don't know what else is going to fit in there, but um, <laughs> you, I, hey, I, you know what? I'll take a leg blessing. Wow. At this point, whatever fits, bless it. Just stick your head in there. <laughs>
That's what Courtney could <laughs> need. You know, I could use exactly that. that. I could use that right now. I can't even stand up straight. <laughs> oh. oh, so take some a leave. Um, I don't know. I hope you feel better. My gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm stopped up on the leave for sure. All right, guys, we'll see you at the top of the I mean, hour. it's all a trend. Tiny house, tiny church, tiny co-host. Yeah. I mean, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. I missed that memo. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll oh. see you at 4 o'clock. <laughs> well, so there are a lot of things to celebrate in November, but did you know November is National Peanut Butter Lovers Month? And uh, this is perfect timing. We are celebrating with the help of our friends from Fix and Fog over in Montrose. And if you haven't tried this, listen, their nut butters are out of this world. Yeah. Gen General Manager Blake Lupton is joining us now via Zoom with a few healthy nut butter recipes that would be perfect to add to our holiday spread. It is so great to see you. Thanks for Zooming in. Of course, good to see you both as well. Well, and Blake, for people who haven't visited the Montrose location, I mean, when we first featured you on the show, we were blown away. Like totally. you said, out of this world. Nut butters come in sweet, in savory, in all different shapes and sizes. So people need to stop by and see and taste for themselves. Yeah, that'd be great. We've got a little window here on Montrose on West Timer. Uh, we offer samples for anyone to try them, and we've got uh, 12 different flavors at the moment. So something for everyone. What I think is so great, too, when you think of nut butters, I typically go to, like, peanut butter and jelly or almond butter. I love that we're both doing, you're doing sweet and savory. And let's begin, because Derek has a pesto. This is everything better pesto, butter pesto. Walk us through this. Yeah, so this one's a great savory option. So I've got a confession, I'm not the chef. My, my uh, colleague here, Danielle, has made all these fresh this morning. I am the, the sampler, so I've eaten all of them today. They're all delicious, super easy to make. Oh my gosh. Food processor, blend up the ingredients. We've got a downloadable ebook on our website. And yeah, they're all easy, easy to follow, easy to make. This is delicious. And just to give viewers, I mean, it smells delicious as well. Oh, great. We have the recipe right there on the screen. So you're using the base of something called the everything butter. And then you're adding these different herbs, a little Parmesan, some olive oil and, and seasoning. And that's really good to go. Exactly. Yeah. Super easy to follow and, and very healthy and delicious. That one's one of my favorites. This is unbelievable. We're just putting it on a piece of bread, but I would love this on a pizza or even some pasta. Mm. Right? Oh, man, that is so good. That is so good. Let's move on to something you can't. I mean, it's practically its own food group here in Texas. Queso. Mm -hmm. You have something that's a cashew butter queso, and I think we also have the recipe for that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this one's great. Uh, vegan friendly, right? So it's a step away from cheese being the base. So the cashew butter combines with the other ingredients here. Super easy to follow as well. Um, yeah, it's got a unique flavor. I think it's... Don't expect a traditional queso flavor, right? But it's um, it's really refreshing and, and uh, super healthy. And what's great about it, if you are non-dairy or vegan, a lot of people get an upset stomach yeah. with dairy. Uh, they don't have to worry about that with this with this vegan option. Here, I'm going to tilt that up so people. I will just tell it. you, I I just had this. So there's the recipe there on the screen. This is so delicious, and but it's it still has sort of that queso taste to it. You don't miss. The cheese, it is unbelievable. You could definitely fool people with this, right? Wow. Wow. That is a home run. That is so delicious. Before we let you, let you go, rather, eating and talking on television is never I a good help. idea. There's dessert. Yeah, let's talk about what, you, what we have here. This is the chocolate berry everything butter muffins. Oh, yeah, those ones are pretty, pretty good. Be ready for that one. Okay, I mean, so how did, what's the recipe on this one, Blake? So that one is, is super simple. Uh, we have a little recipe card that we hand out at the window as well. But you've got uh, coconut yogurt in there. Uh, so this one is also a vegan friendly one. Uh, the chocolate berry, everything butter, coconut oil. Uh, you've got flour. Uh, so all of that mixed into a food processor and then, and then yeah, baked in your little muffin tins. And they're super... Uh, Super moist and just delicious, those ones. They're, they're very, very addictive. They look delicious. I'll let you eat. Before oh we gosh. let you go, we do want to point out, you guys are donating 20,000 servings of nut butter every single month with your partnership with Second Servings Houston. This is fantastic. Search Homelessness and House of Tiny Treasures. So thank you so much for partnering with our local nonprofits to serve people in need, Blake. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Take care.
These happy are things. all happy Thanksgiving to you and all great recipes. If you want to try any of these this holiday season, we're going to have the full recipes available on our website, HoustonLife.tv. So good. So yummy. Coming up, we're sharing more obsessions, including a local shop you can support to help your family's holiday cards. But for now, why don't we check in with Lauren Kelly, who's talking to a very busy actress. Hey, Lauren. Hey. I see what you did there. Still to come, info on this year's 20th National Dog Show presented by Purina. The event is set to air this Thursday and actress Busy Phillips, along with her dog Gina, have details on the furry fun when Houston Life returns. We are back with more HL Obsessions. This next brand is something Courtney introduced me to, and y'all may remember the story. You actually went to the factory for Armenta collection. So Emily Armenta, um, you love the jewelry. I do. You're a big fan. So there are a lot of designers in Houston, right? But this collection is really set apart at Armenta because it is locally made by local artisans. You watch the entire process. There's Emily Armenta right there. So proudly made here in the U.S. by female artisans. So Emily Armenta's passion is to combine craftsmanship and a greater purpose. This year, they are celebrating 20 years of creating really great jewelry while also helping women lead meaningful lives. So Courtney, you were just telling me she graduated from Rice University. She started selling some of her collection at Tootsie's yes. and now she's at Neiman's. She is global. So take a look at what we have here on set today. You're seeing some of the women's pieces, but the men's collection, that is what is new. So these styles, you can go from day to night, I'm just gonna slip my wrist around here so y'all can see the I bracelets love the that I've bracelets been wearing that you today. Put on. Yeah, and and I stacked them. I, I thought, you know what? Which one should I wear? And I decided to wear all of them because Why they're choose? so beautiful. Well, right. So, and this is something that you can feel good about buying because, again, the story behind it. Don't you appreciate the brand so much more because you see the work that goes into it? Absolutely. And giving women an opportunity to learn a trade, to work for a company. Some of these women that have worked for Armenta have been there the entire time. Yeah, they all have great stories. And whether the man in your life or maybe you're a guy and you need some cufflinks, like the things you're seeing right here on the screen, every man needs a great pair of cufflinks, even if you only wear them a few times a year. So use the promo code Houston Life. You can get 15% off site wide. The code is good until the end of the year. December 31st, 2021 is when it expires. Armentacollection.com. Check them out online. It makes a really lovely, nice gift. And I like it too, whether you like a bold jewelry or something small or simple. Armenta has it all, yeah. for sure. Check them out. I'm glad those bracelets look amazing on you. Thank you. Okay, tis the season for gift tags and thank you notes and all kinds of things, and I'm so excited to feature Scribbled Designs. I'm a huge fan of what Kelly and Mary Margaret do. They are two teachers who started their business during COVID. They expanded and now sell all kind of personalized paper goods your entire family could need. So From cute. gift stickers to gift tags. You know, you're always searching for something. You're bringing a hostess gift you want to put it on their table and you don't want them to guess later who it was from also listen to this guys the Christmas card turnaround is about two weeks they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to create your holiday card that you will love and by the way I'm one of those people I was supposed to have my photos done on Saturday haven't yeah. been done yet so I'm the late one and their Christmas cards are lovely all of their holiday cards are lovely personalized notepads for teachers, game notepads for your family game night, and also stationery to use as stocking stuffers, so much more. The placemats are amazing. Do you see the announcement the beautiful here? Beautiful cards. They're Lovely. Great. I also love this in front. I don't know, Derek, I can't reach because of my back, but that thanks so much. It allows kids to learn how to write a thank you note. Dear blank, thank you so much for the whatever it is that you gave. So it teaches your kids how to write a thank you note. It is absolutely fantastic. Aww. You can use Use code Houston Life. Thank you so much, no by the problem. way. Can't make some quick movements. Houston Life is the promo code to receive 15% off their entire site. This code is going to expire though on November 29th at 11:59 p.m. It's Etsy.com slash shop slash scribbled designs shop. You will not be disappointed from this and you'll go back to them 
event after event. They're very clever, one of a kind. Very nice. All right, as a reminder, we are not paid or compensated by any of these businesses. We simply love supporting them and showcasing them. If you missed any of the promo codes, don't worry. We will have them all posted on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Happy shopping. Okay, actress, author, and talk show host, Busy Phillips, is chatting all about a big event happening this Thanksgiving, and her dog is too cute. Busy Phillips is so great. Lauren Kelly is here with more. Hey, Lauren. She is the cutest. And this year, the 20th National Dog Show will have over 1,500 of the top American Kennel Club sanctioned dogs from across the country competing for the best of breed, first in group, and the coveted title of best in show. Actress Busy Phillips and her dog Gina chatted with me all about this Thursday's big event and even told us they'll be revealing a new breed in the competition this year called the Beaver Terrier. Let's talk it about is. what you've been up to. Busy, you are a busy lady, author, activist, actor, late night talk show host. You've got it all going on, girl. How do you even have time for anything else? Well, I don't know. How does anyone do anything? <laughs> you got, you know what I mean? Like we just, there's 24 hours in a day. We're just gonna try to fill them up, I guess. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's, it's, it is a lot, but I do, um, I enjoy working. I enjoy showing up for my friends and my family and the things that um, are important to me. And I love the work that I do. So all of those things make it a little bit easier. You know, like I can't, there's nothing I could ever complain about. What, I mean, I'm, a, I'm like a working actor, entertainer, performer. And I can and you support get to bring my your family. Dog to work. And I get to bring my dog to work and talk about my one of my favorite Thanksgiving Day traditions, which is watching the National Dog Show. Absolutely, um, girlfriend. This is going to be so much fun happening on Thanksgiving. I can't believe it's the 20th year for this. Tell us all about the event. Um, well, it is. They're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the National Dog Show presented by Purina. 2,000 dogs from you know over 200 breeds representing. How do people start training their dogs for a show like this? I mean, look, Minnie needs a haircut. So, like, this is probably not the program that, for us. Yeah, I don't, I actually feel like it's a little bit like you're born into it or something. <laughs> I don't know. But um, but I do know you can go to Purina.com. They have lots of information about the National Dog Show on their website. Don't say it too loud, but do you have any, you know, holiday gifts in mind for Gina? Oh gosh, Gina. Gina's a simple, a simple gal. She just loves a squeaky toy. Oh yeah. And she loves a she loves a ball. She a loves ball. something she can yeah, a good ball, a good something she can stick. just Oh wow. A couple she of loves treats. Yeah. some treats and just something she can destroy. Okay. Happy holidays, busy. Thanks, you, take you too. Care, okay. Bye, Gina. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Gina. You can watch the National Dog Show presented by Purina right here on KPRC2 starting at noon following the Macy's Day Parade on Thanksgiving Day. And for more info on Busy and this week's National Dog Show, you can also log on to HoustonLife.tv. And speaking of dogs, after the break, we'll check in with Joe Sand to see how his search for a new pup is going. We'll be right back with more Houston Life. Welcome back here to Houston Life. We are at Bark right now talking all about adopting pets. I actually asked everyone online to vote in on their favorite one and who I should take home. We did a little personality and I went to get the one that best fit my personality. And out of all of the dogs that we showed you guys, Luna, Snoopy, and Sunrise, we have the winner, Snoopy here. Let's go ahead and give him a round of applause, you guys. So I'm going to be taking Snoopy home. This is going to be really, really exciting. I'm going to go ahead and sign on the dotted line right now. We have What's your name? Raquel. Raquel here. I'm going to go ahead and sign the name here. And it's official. I am now a dog dad. So really, really quickly, Snoopy is going to be here talking all about that. Really quickly talk about how others can come and adopt a pet. Oh, I think, I think he's happy. <laughs> We're at 3300 Car Street. We're open Tuesdays through Sundays, noon to 5 p.m. You can also go to HoustonBark.com. Our full list of adoptable pets is located on our website. Follow us, Bark Houston, on social media as well. Find out more about what dogs we have going on and our upcoming Home for the Holidays campaign. We have some specials there. 
there. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to be having all of the information about their home for the holidays up on our website. Courtney and Derek, we're going to send things back to you guys as I finish up with everything I need to do to take Snoopy on home. I knew me. it. I think he's excited. I could <laughs> tell when Snoopy first came up to you, Joe. Great choice. All of them are lovely, but I think you two are going to make a perfect pair. Yeah, there's definitely a connection, Joe. We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh, we can't I'm wait to meet him. To. Thank you guys so much. You ready to go home, Snoopy? Aww. He's ready. Look at his tail there. So sweet. All right, don't go away. Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, we are taking you behind the scenes of the Urban Nutcracker that features more than 100 dancers, actors, and musicians from all over the Houston area. Plus, we're getting a lesson on table tennis by a local 10-year-old ping pong phenom who will be part of the 2021 World Table Tennis Championships happening right here in Houston. Something tells me we won't be able to compete. Uh <laughs> I used to be quite good at ping pong back in my day. Table tennis? Table tennis. <laughs> yes, right? I mean, it's amazing to watch the championships, oh, these professional athletes. It's so fast. I don't I mean, it's I don't know how they do it, I but have I a guess back we'll injury. Find out. I can't compete. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. Remember all of our obsessions and everything we featured head to our website. Yeah, Keith and Christine, we'll toss it over to you.